Good morning. How's everybody doing? My tablet is being slow as per usual. Um, all right, we're starting chapter three this morning. We'll see how far we get into it. Oh yeah, we still have to make it out of the woods here. We're slowly getting there. This way. Hee <laughs> <laughs> avoid it. button. A hidden door? What's inside? What is this? Something to do with the map. Makes it easier to get to the uh, different areas instead of having to go through craziness. No, I can't break it. <laughs> Ooh, gradual syrup. Makes a party member recover FP gradually for a brief period. Okay. No? Okay. We need a way to break those yellow blocks. And then we can come back. I don't know what that did, but... Oh, nice! Extra pipe. Shouldn't have went down there. Oh, well. I'll go back down in a minute. Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy is a total liar. Don't listen to him. You had, you heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man. You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. It's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. Damn, someone's salty. Put the angry toad. Freeze! You too, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? You stepped on it! My poor contact lenses! Told you not to move. 
Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? So this is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine. Oh. I'm going to block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. I, like, turned around. Crazy people in this town. Urg. Nose of the tear. Alright, back through this door. And around we go. fully remember. No, I do not. This way. Maybe through this pipe? I'm on this side now. What's in here? Really? More of these people? Hello, welcome. I'm Merle. Underground, cute as can be. A charming charmer, that is me. Lucky for you, coming here, I grant good fortune. Have no fear. Let my mystic power tell of days to come. More as well, for luck sits on my spells. What do you say, Mr. Guy? Want to give it a try? Are you ready for a taste of power? No, thanks. It's not good at all, but then it's your call. I am surely hope... I surely hope that you'll return with money to burn. Yeah, I don't feel like having my... Having spells put on me. Ouch. Did not mean to fall into a cavern. No! I didn't make it far. I'm gonna do it again. Hammer time! I mean, I can try using body slam. It might work. Nope. Even though she's a cloud, it shouldn't hurt her. There we go. Got one star point. We're at 69 star points. <laughs> we don't get many star points from Goombas anymore. Oops. There we go. Made it that time. Still getting used to flying. Where are we at now? No. Oh. Hunts for the castle place, I think. Alright, 
Let's try down this pipe, maybe. I'm lost on where I need to go. Typical. I just came out of this pipe. No, I got hit. I couldn't block. Dang it. Um, jump. There we go. Dang it. Got it! Ow. Just came into the circle. Uh, I don't know what that does, but I'm getting rid of that. We're getting less and less star points. You get a happy heart P badge. Has a chance of slowly restoring your partner's HP each turn during battles. I gotta go through all my badges actually. Crystal star time. We got two stars. On to the third one. Slowly. Oh, that seems interesting. The location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Mercy me, the next crystal star has made an entrance. My, my, my. But correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that up in the sky? What does that mean? Mm. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. And that door has... The door's been sealed shut for a thousand for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars. Perhaps I'm just draft daft, but why would 
they want to seal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not... Hmm, that's not what? I don't know! Frankly, please. I'm sorry, so sorry. Lady! I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed, but the problem is no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. Allie! Good morning! All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. It's Queen! I must research this more, assuming we'll just make an, well, you know, the saying. Oh yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of the crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in f furious battles. Obsentibly, I butchered that. Families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the boats. A floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special blimp flies there. It departs from Rogueport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is all tickets go through Don... Piana? On the west side. Head west from Rogueport's main square and you'll reach the side of town controlled by Don Pianta. He's the... Oh, it's a piñata. I'm bad at words this morning. So good! He's a piñata syndicated head and I heard he makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. Streamer Zinc, with the hype. I'm done. Pinata is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. Found a piece of paper with info about Fuzzy Horde on it, so you added it to catalog. Cool. <sighs> Open mail. Mario Coops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I'm doing great, drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring 10 years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you like Petalberg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure coops. Kara and Caitlin. So where are you headed next? I want you to see the wide world, son. It'll be good for you. You'll grow, but don't grow too much. Else you might be too tall to fit through the front door. From Coopley. Save. Hello, Mario. Still working hard. Professor Frankly here in e form again. There's something I forgot to tell you. I highly recommend that you look into obtaining a certain badge. It's called First Attack. If you haven't that badge equipped, you can take care of weak foes with a first strike instead of fully battling it out. The badge shop in Rogueport has it available for purchase. You can get there by exiting the second floor of the inn, so stop reading this and go get yourself a first attack badge. Where's the end?
nostalgic tunes. Changes the background music to the original Nintendo GameCube tracks. Ooh. Has a chance of slowly restoring FP each turn during battles. Half the damage Mario takes when he has 5 HP or less. Increases attack power by 2 when Mario has 5 HP or less. Enables you to defeat weak foes with the first strike on the field. Big welcome to you. Yes, welcome to the lovely house of badges. You are so welcome here. Now I know a new customer when I see one, so let, let me give you give my usual rundown on how our shop works. We have a special curated selection of recommended baz badges up here on the counter. If you're looking for something more niche, check in the cardboard box on the right side of the shop. That covers the basics for using your shop. Okay, moving right along. You need zero BP to wear this first attack badge. It's only under coins, interested? Yes. So. Thank you very much. All right. Let's check our badges, actually. Equip. What's Quake Humor? For this to use Quake Hammer, 3 FP are required to use it. And damage is all on ground and ceiling. Wearing two or more of these badges increases the attack power, but more will require the FP. These ones are already equipped. We'll put that one on. Actually, we're gonna change that because we don't really need one for our partner quite yet. We need more for Mario. Do the last stand for the partner. Reduces damage your partner takes by half when they have five or less for HP. So we'll go with that, I guess. For now. No, look, I'm not letting you into the west part of town until you buy me new lens. Sorry about the end of the story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses in. My rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it. Well, I don't know where the frig to find contact lenses. <laughs> Got all the hottest new products right here, look no further. Double pain, shooting star, repel cape, and mega rush. Nope. What? No more shopping? Sorry to hear that, my man. This is a limited time offer. Change the goods I often I offer from time to time, so come back real soon. <laughs> you don't have any good jobs, do you? You know, easy work, incredible pay? Yeah, if you got easy work that pays a lot, I'm your man. I'm all over that. Good to know. Can't fit. Hey, my name's Darkly. I like dim places. I think in my past life I was mold or a potato bug or something. You know, it's neat because I just love places that are dark and moist. Gross. Ooh! 
Ooh, a star piece. Thanks. Whoa, 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 hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, he head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. I try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. And we'll save the coins for now. Save them for another time. I just need to find contact lenses. That's all I want. Once you get a blimp ticket from Don Pinata on the west side, you can go to Glitzville. You are no help. in the end maybe I don't know welcome to you and you welcome to you and yours have a seat this is Podley's place a humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks by the by there's an inn upstairs when you're weary go on up and relax good to know this is a skull stone, the lucky charm of my family. I love you, you sparkly thing. So fabulous, I wish to give it great big kisses. It never leaves my sight. Never. Great to know. Master Mario, haven't you found the princess yet? Please don't waste another moment. You must find the princess. You must. I'm working on it. Dude is so impatient. <laughs> hey there, fellow. Welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. What can I do for you? Um, I'm good. Come again. Okay. Welcome, yes, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Is that you want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it will take a while. Check back soon. Contact lenses sold out. Feel terrible about this, but you'll have to wait a little longer. Alright. Let's go have a nap. Maybe that'll speed up some time. Even though I don't really need the nap, but it's fine. Well, Mario doesn't need the nap. Me, on the other hand, yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Lone Refuge in this part of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. Care to rest? It's five coins. Enjoy your stay. Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to see get out there and face the world. See you again soon. Thanks for that. Still not in. <laughs> A little longer, really? Wish I knew a way of getting up there. Toad Bros. 
Dear Mario, thank you for shopping at the Toad Bros Bazaar. We're writing to let you know that the contact lens you ordered is now available to pick up at your shop. At our shop. Assuming you can still see well enough to read this email, please stop by at your earliest convenience. Yay! We can now continue on. Contact lens. I'm gonna need 10 coins for that contact lens. You bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy. Yes. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. You still look angry. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. So cranky. Port West. The boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you out like that. Good to know. I almost fell down that great man. That was close. I know where that thing leads to, too, all too well, and I don't want to go there. Ooh, where does it lead? I mean, there is a pipe right there, so I'd imagine that pipe helps to get out. Maybe. Ooh, who are you? Every day is a lucky day with happy lucky lottery. With new numbers every day, this lottery's fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. No. Is that so? Unhappy? Yes, that's too bad. I'll come back when you feel like playing the happy lucky lottery. Maybe later. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario, like the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show you? Never mind. Oh, really? Okay, definitely come talk to me if you ever need anything. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My family is worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. They don't mind. They're all so independent. They're happiest doing their own things. Good to know. You need four pinatas to play this game. I'm the pinata changer changing machine. I am called pinata changer. One exchange. I exchange one pinata for three coins. How many will you exchange? I'll do 30. I'll do another 30. I'm gonna go broke. Spicy matching game. Get pinatas if you do well or hard, but you can win lots of pinatas. Alright. What's this one? Sweet matching game. Win pinatas. You will do well. Lots of fun for only a few pinatas. Alright, let's try this one. Okay, so I need to try to get the mushrooms, I guess. Keep getting pinata man. Alright, let's try again. I 
I'm not good at this. <laughs> Let's try this one. Uh, kind of, but don't want to at the same time. So we need to get the star in order to get 50. Not getting it. Hey, how are you holding up? What's that you say? You're looking for Don Piñata, the person who runs this place. Well, if you want to learn about the criminal underworld of Rogueport, find Ishnail in the east part of town. Really? This is a scoreboard member's card required for use. Oh, let's trade winnings, maybe. I'll trade my winnings. We can trade in the piñatas you've won for prizes, and some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. Cake mix, super mushroom, super appeal, and then refund. Okay. Anything else I can do for you? Never mind. Definitely come talk to me when do it, but yeah, okay. As long as I get to keep those. All right, let's go to the east side of town, I guess. Let's go to Ishnail in the east side of town. Maybe someone can tell us exactly where he is. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I was trying to go down into the grate. Probably a bad idea, but. Rogueport sub level one. <laughs> Got him. No, I want a coin. Into the pipe. I don't know where it goes, but... Ooh, okay. We're here now. No! Blocked it. No! I didn't realize those were spiky. I blew him away. I need more star points. Dang it! <laughs> I blocked you early on that one. Slow mushroom makes a party member recover HP gradually for a brief period. I have no idea where I'm going. What is this? Danger do not enter. This pipe is the entrance to the pit of a hundred trials. First attack and bump attack badges don't work, so beware.
deepest level reached zero. Because this is the first time I'm finding it. <laughs> we found the door. Cool. Oops. There we go, made it. Right. Still don't know what they are for. Didn't actually get a chance to explore this room much. Now we gotta go to the east side of town. everybody doing this morning? them now if you want to pass through fine I'll pay 10 coins one two three yep that's 10 coins all right you can pass The infamous info mouse. I know things, things worth knowing. If someone's trouble is giving you trouble, I'll share my info, but it'll cost you. Think of it as a tip for a tip. You haven't taken on anyone's trouble, so my info won't be of much use to you. Come talk to me after you've accepted someone's trouble from the board over there. Hey, is this your first time to the Trouble Center? Then I'll explain how our service works. Listen up good. This Trouble Center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. Help someone out and they'll give you a reward. Probably not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decided not to solve a trouble, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. Um, no one at the moment. I don't feel like doing that get to it eventually. So I've been thinking and I think I want to meet the robo boss just once. Thing is, I have no idea where the thieves hideout is located. None. Rumor has it 
There is a secret passageway around here, but where could someone fit? Who me? My name's Pierre. I'm what's technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks under town, but I paid nothing! That's when Ishnail, the boss of the Robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology and am now an amazing thief. Ha ha ha. You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost. The business brings a chump like you to a place like this. Say it ain't vacation. What? You want to meet that lion cheating, stealing, no good jerky for brains, Don Pinata? Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all of that? And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too? You know all that and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Incentive Jerk, but it will cost you 64 coins. And no budget on the price. Not a single coin inside info is pricey. Them's the beat. Them's the breaks. You'll pay, really? Good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins on the nose. Okay then, clean those ears out and listen here. The store next to the pinata parlor in the west part of town buy a dried mushroom then a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Order! Dried mushroom dizzy dial. You got that? Do that and the shopkeeper will ask you what your favorite color is. You answer yellow. See, yellow is the password for getting into Don scumbag oh so comfy office. You got all that? Yes. All right, let's go spend some more coins. All right, back to the west side of town. Dried mushroom. Oh no! I'm at max capacity! Wrong one. Wrong button. I guess I'm here to store. Got a mushroom! Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, mister. What color is your mustache? What's your favorite color? Yellow. 
Well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pinata. Good for you. You can go through the door, go on with your bad self. Okay, you go that way. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me, you wanna- you want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you oughta be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pinata. I make crying babies weep. You want- I should run this bum out of- on a rail boss looking at him what you must like pain funny guy you just looking for trouble or what <laughs> not so fast boys <laughs> I like this guy's grumption he just came to talk no that ain't a crime <laughs> so we talk you boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up you got it so I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp with it. What's that? You want to help some broad? What got herself kidnapped? Ain't to rescue this dame. You're out collecting the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Benny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Bite your tongue, don't listen to that lout. The treasure is as real as I am. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not, you can get me. But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some girl. He's gone gaga for. Made my decision. You do me a little favor and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Not entirely sure I like the sound of this. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be in town somewhere. So you gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly, and... What is known as extreme prodigious. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Leave it to us to find Francesca. It's because you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this uh, guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss, whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. I won't. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah. Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. All right. Anything this way? This flight goes to Glitzville. You will need a ticket to travel with us. This is the ex Excess Express, bound for luxurious Poshley Heights. Passengers must present a ticket to board. You got, gotta love train platforms, man. I bet this place has seen as many dramatic encounters as there are stars in space. Wow, the thought of it all. I just love it. 
You're one weird toad. Tell you, I just like standing here gazing at the train more than I would like riding it. Because if I were to ride, I wouldn't get to see how cool its main engines look. Yeah, looking at it's better, but if I could just afford a ticket, I might ride it once. Good to know. Can't read that board. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. How refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Rogueport. Good to know. Do, 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 do. Hey, back off you creep, you want something or are you just like sliding up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us home? Take us to him? Frankie, what should we do if daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the, the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we can just talk calm like with the boss he'll understand don't you love me of course i love you sugar cookie more than anybody in the whole world then let's go frankie let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to but butter biscuit they already found us out we can't keep running forever ken frankie the more you try to put up the flames of love the hotter they burn Till I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one. Can you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? No way. What did you say to me? You terrible, terrible man. Fine, have it your way, but we won't go with you. Never. I won't move from this spot. Alright, now let's go back. Whatever should we do, we have to say something to that Don Pinata guy. I must say though, don't fancy a run of terrible luck. What would be that would be unfortunate. Well, she is not moving, so just gotta go tell him. Open the door. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gotta brighten my mood. So give, what do you got? You know, sure do. And I'll tell you. Oh, is that a true fact, Rogueport Harbor, eh? Well done, I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two nimrods. The kids are at the harbor. Now go get them. Francesca? <laughs> boss, forgive me, boss. I am sorry. Truly, I am. <laughs> Frankie, so back you come, head hung low, and wet your tail between your legs. 
No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you. <laughs> Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All to blame. Right here. <laughs> Enough. Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pinata. I feel such disappointment from you two. It's like a poison mushroom in my gut. Boss? I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want, even if it means getting married. I mean, boss. Thank you so much. Thanks for your blessing. I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you she'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go. Seeing you just happy makes me happy, too. Congrats, both of yous. Frankie, this is great. I mean, the way this all turned out is a bit sappy, but hey, things turned out okay. Am I right? Goodbye, farewell, and thank you! You still here? Well, you found my daughter and you got her to come back here. And just look how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Yay, blimp ticket! Who knew that guy's got her smiling ear to ear? She's happy, that's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. And go on. Get your ugly mug out of my office. I've got some intense emotions to car compartmentalize. <laughs> Am I we done at Mario? Next stop, Glitzville. to this flying fish. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Yes. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. No, what's back this way? Nothing? Okay. Just you know, I have to double check. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory. We're just starting chapter 3. It's insane. I hit the button earlier. I just didn't want to.
And we made it to Glitzville. My, 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 Glitzville. I've heard that the Glitz Pits is just full of brawny brawls. I must admit, the prospect of some hurly burly gets me a touch pecked. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star. Alright, well, first, I want to get this um, thingy. No, I can't reach it. <gasps> Got it. Hee <laughs> hee. Jay! How you doing? Pig selling hot dogs. That's kind of ironic. Alright, we will save here and save the rest of this chapter. Since we didn't actually start it yet, we were all doing like, well, was doing extra stuff like uh, running around doing side quests. Um,. Oh, I see a star piece. I want that. And then I'll save again. <laughs> star piece! Still don't know what that stuff does, but I'll figure it out eventually, maybe. Oh, cool. Place for taking pictures. Alright, saving again. Um, but yeah. Um. Oh, we got nine shine sprites and nine star pieces. Ooh. Doing pretty good. <sighs> I gotta stretch. Um, I will be back on tomorrow morning so we can do chapter three tomorrow morning. Um, For now, I'm going to read out to Jay. So give him some hype and some love and all that fun stuff. And I will see you all tomorrow morning. And yeah. Have fun. Be safe. Don't do anything stupid. Because some of y'all need reminded. Jay's playing uh, Marvel's Midnight Suns, I think. I think. But anyways. Give him some hype and some love and all that fun stuff. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.